Yeah, yeah, yeah You know even try to Nobody can match you Don't you yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel Or welcome to my channel if you're new here So happy you've joined me today So in this video, I will be giving you guys a life update Because a few things have been happening And just wanted to update you guys So I did a little poll on my Instagram to see how you guys would like to see it. Mukbang or, or mukbang, however you say it, or a uh, uh, get ready with me. And most people voted mukbang. So that's what I'm doing today. So I didn't really have that many options of places I can get food from because it's a national holiday today. I don't really know what holiday it is, but it's a holiday nonetheless. So a lot of places are closed, but I got food yesterday, um, thankfully. So I had some leftovers. But before we get started with all of this I want you guys to like comment and subscribe to this channel <laughs> and comment and share and yeah tell me what else you would like to see and I have some questions for you throughout this video so make sure you answer those questions as well so I got my food from this place called barcode and it's a really nice restaurant and it's also they have they have a lot of options and they are pretty good probably the best food around here um, I got the Latin salad or Latina salad and Generoso's chicken. Now, it doesn't look like Generoso's chicken, nor does it taste like Generoso's chicken, but it is good. So I don't mind it. This salad has lettuce, quinoa, chicken, corn, black beans, onions. I think that's it. Oh, chickpeas too and some peppers, bell peppers. So it's actually really good and I'm using Thousand Island dressing and for my dinner. So this right here is the best hot sauce. I'm really a sriracha kind of gal and I love sriracha still, but this is so good and it's actually hot and spicy. I'm gonna have to find it somewhere. Probably one of those like, you know, cultural stores or whatever when I get back home. But this is a must and I put it on everything like rice chicken pastas all of it and i got my little iced tea so so the first thing i want to talk to you guys about something that i'm actually really really excited for and i've been waiting actually the last life update video or i guess the first and last <laughs> when i did i almost mentioned this but it was still in the beginning phases and it wasn't like set yet um even now it's not completely set but it's now it's it's, it's gonna be set. Now I can talk about it. So I have started, or I guess you could call, call it started, an organization here. And yes. So I'm actually I'm so excited about it. Um, it's called SNMA. So it's a national a national what do you call it organization. It stands for Student National Medical Association. Medical schools have this organization, and it's an organ. It's a national organization mainly for you know underrepresented folk, <laughs> and yeah. So it's a national organization. You got a lot of connections from there. You get um, resources, all types of stuff, internships. So it's a great organization, and so. I, I have a lot of friends that are in it and I've heard about it even before I came to med school. You know, they've, they've talked about uh, their chapters and all of that stuff. So when I came here, I was, I thought like, you know, that was just a thing we all had, apparently not. Um, but I think it might've been an organization here before Hurricane Irma. Nobody really knows, I've talked to deans, professors, and nobody has heard of SNMA. So I don't even know if it's actually been a thing here. And when I went through the you know, national director of SNMA, it was a thing of like reinstating the organization. So I don't know if someone did the paperwork and never started it here. I don't know. The point is, it's getting done now. And your girl is soup. Mm. Mm, 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 I love Thousand Island. Yeah, that's happening. So what was taking so long though? Cause it's still not, like I said, it's still not all the way set. My school had a cap on the number of organizations that they could have here. And so at the beginning of the semester when I was like, um, 
talking to the dean of the school and the student government. It was like basically a thing of, yeah, the organization is cool, but we have a cap. So I had to wait until earlier this week, it was like two days ago, when I was told that they lifted the cap. So now we can take steps to actually being an organization. On campus. Oh my God. I don't know how people do these, my friends. Because how can you eat and enjoy your food while talking? Hmm. Anyway, they lifted the, the cap. And so now I have to. And this is going to be something I'm going to do during my break, which is next week. I have to create bylaws for the organization and then present it to the dean and then to the student student government. And then next semester will be on our probationary period where uh, I'll be able to, the organization will be able to do, like have events and be active and like do things on campus and then at the, I don't know if it's at the end of the semester or a few weeks, I don't know all the details yet, but afterwards, then the vote should SNMA be or yay or nay or however they do it. So that's something I really, I'm really excited for because not everybody can say that they started an organization in medical school. And then also like, I'm, I'm happy for myself, but also on a, you know, for real, for real this is an organization I really, really believe in. And I really feel like will benefit so many students, ones that are here now, but especially like as it becomes more established over the years, future uh, AUC students. Um, because as a Caribbean school, the fact is that we're over here and everybody else, like America, they over there. So they, they get to intermingle and make connections and you know have their faces put out there, but we're over here, so we don't have that. We don't have as many opportunities to do that. So with SNMA, um, there's more opportunities to get your name out there to different program directors or people doing internships or, you know, whatever the case may be. And especially when it comes to residency and clinicals, those are really good connections to have. And even for after uh, medical school, because. Um, SNMA is the student version of NMA, which is National Medical Association. So you get to continue on. And I really think it'll be a real good benefit for a lot of people. Mm. I have my hair out still. I said I'll have it out for a month. It's, what month is it? April. I said I have it out for the month of uh, March. And it's April and I still have it out. I'm actually very proud of myself. She's been thriving, but I'm putting her in braids next week. Let's get ready for carnival. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna show you guys that for, for sure. And then also SNMA has this um, conference. It's actually going on right now. I'm so salty, like incredibly salty that I'm not there. I'm seeing it on everybody's stories. It looks so fun and you know, informative and all that type of stuff. But I really wanted to go, but our final was in three days. But I'm really hoping and praying next year I'm able to to go, and you know other AUC students are able to go to represent, you know, rep represent for AUC and St. Martin and all of us over here. Mm. So that's that for SNMA. If you guys have more questions or you want to know like the entire process of how I got this organization started, or if you want to know more about SNMA, let me know in the comments if you want me to follow up on that. So the next thing. I have going on right now. I think I actually realized that I didn't really tell you guys about this block, like any details about it. So this block was, or is, uh, musculoskeletal and dermatology. It's a lot of anatomy and then a lot of skin uh, disorders and diseases and all of that type of stuff. And also like bone, bone tumors and lesions, all that type of stuff. Before I came to medical school, I heard one of the like main things I heard when it comes to like difficult courses was that anatomy was like really hard. Well, like it's a, it's a tough 
um, it's a tough uh, block. And for me, I haven't really had that experience. It takes work to uh, memorize all the things and I don't know, just learn. But honestly, this has been this, the most straightforward, I guess, straightforward block that I've had so far, especially compared to last semester or last block that was like hematology and oncology and stuff. So I figured I'd give you guys um, a few of the things that I've learned that have made this time a little bit easier or um, straightforward and doable. The first thing is, if you're in school, you know, or have gone to school. I mean, everybody can relate to this. Everybody has gone to school at one point. Different teachers or professors teach differently. And some methods that one uses might work for you. Another method the other one uses might not work for you. So that never changes, I don't, I don't think. It certainly hasn't changed now. For each block, it's never just one professor doing everything. So depending on the lecture, Sometimes I'd have to do more work to use outside sources other than the lecture slides. And so something that has helped me and that I used a lot or have been using a lot and still using even preparing for this final is two, two websites specifically. Ken Hub for all things anatomy. It has everything, even radiology stuff. It has um, like learning literally everything everything that has to do with bones um, muscles nerves arteries if you need to know anything about them or where they are anything like that use can help and they also have questions um you know and the questions are really helpful and repetitive so that you know you get it in your head so i suggest that one two complete anatomy my school provided us a code to use it um, I think you might have to pay for it otherwise, or I don't remember, but that is very helpful too because it's also same kind of thing, um, mus muscles, bones, all that, but it's like 3D kind of, so you can like move it around and see where it's going. It's just basically a human body and you could just click on the parts and zoom in, zoom out, do all these things. That's really helpful. And then the third thing, and this is uh, specifically for um, the microbiome and the pathology and the dermatology, med bullets. Med bullets is key. I use it for practice questions. I think it has uh, like some summary pages or whatever but I only use it for the questions because they have really good questions and they are step like questions um, or at least beginner step like questions and I found that the, the those questions are really similar to the style and level of difficulty of my exam questions so that has been very very helpful to me um, so those three things I think are are for anatomy and musculoskeletal block and then apart from those I would say just re repetition repetition and repetition and also I would I found that like even using complete anatomy and Ken Ken hub and looking it looking at it at different angles and different resources have helped solidify like even if it doesn't look exactly like this, I still know where it's at and what it looks like, all that type of stuff. Mm. Mm. So honestly, this block is all glory to God. I've done the best this block than I have any other block. Like I've got the highest exam scores, this block. And I really wish I was able to um, for the high school. Honestly, last block, I'm just happy I made it because that was tough. And I think I did well. Um, well, I know I did well compared to the level of difficulty because, you know, this class size is getting smaller. It's still not small, but it's still getting smaller. And I really feel bad for the people who weren't able to make it past last block, but it was very difficult. So 
Although I wish I could have gotten a higher score so that the score I have now, them added together would give me a score that could possibly make honors this semester. I don't know if that's happening now because yeah, numbers. <laughs> but um, at least I know that I can I can get there. This, this block has actually been quite the confidence boost for me because I've been sick of being average. <laughs> like getting average scores or never really average, but you know, above average, but still average adjacent, you know? I'm sick and tired of that. <laughs> so this block has been um, really encouraging for me that, you know, I can be up there and I can get good grades or the grades that I want. I always got good grades, but not necessarily the ones that I want. So thank God for that. How are you guys doing? All you guys that are in school, how's your semester rounding out? Cause yeah, I believe everybody's, right? Everybody's getting to the end of the semester. So let me know, let me know in the comments how your semester has gone. So lastly, finals are coming up. Again, it's Friday, finals is on Tuesday. And it's my final. It's, which is an NBME final. I don't even know what that stands for. But I, I, I think it, it's like the, the people that make like step questions. And then right after, like an hour after, I have my lab practical. Oh, that was another thing that was actually very helpful. The anatomy lab and looking at the cadavers. Seeing it on a real person and being able to touch and move stuff so you can actually see you know hands-on type learning that was actually very helpful i'm going i was there earlier today um to review some things and i'm probably going to go at least one other time before my practical just so i can um look and make sure i, I know how to identify these things because it is one thing to see it on a screen or in a book and it's another thing to see it on a real person or in a real person um <laughs> Ooh. yeah so go to those mine actually weren't mandatory I didn't even learn that until this week and I've had like several every week but go to the go to the um, lab the labs and the dis dissection dissection because it really does help with learning I'm slightly getting overwhelmed by the amount of things especially the pathology pathology and um, microbiology those were all like exam one maybe a little exam one and then the bones were like exam two i think or something like that but that that stressed me because there's just so much there's so much but that's what i'm gonna review today after this this was the little study break for me this weekend it's, it's, it's none of this none of this i actually feel really cute today um or right now and I'm happy I did this like in the middle of the day because this really was a pick me up I was in my scrubs earlier and just feeling like I want to go to bed but now I feel like I can go and be productive oh my gosh I've been drinking Red Bulls mind you I don't consume caffeine I drink water and when for my meals I tend to drink a juice but I do not consume caffeine like ever I don't drink coffee I don't like coffee um what else has, has caffeine even my green tea is caffeine decaffeinated i don't drink sodas like so i don't consume caffeine but i started drinking red bulls and the first time i drank a red bull bruh i felt like literally i could fly like that man on the slogan that's what i felt like i felt like i took a drug or something like i've never taken a drug before but if 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 if, if it, I, I imagine <laughs> taking a drug would feel similar to that Oh, it did work though it, it did work I got to work but now after that first one I don't know why because I haven't had that many I probably have had finished that pack and then I probably had like one or two so I've probably had like five or six in the past like month and a half so one a week if that you know but after that first one it doesn't work for me anymore so I'm kind of scared to like 
go to the next level and get like a monster or something because i feel like i don't know did i become like addicted or tolerant to it that fast after one use that's scary <laughs> like i don't want to be addicted to caffeine or anything so I, i'm sure most of y'all are coffee drinkers but for non-coffee drinkers what do you use to for like energy and other caffeine sources or something like that i don't know so yeah that's basically it my semester is coming to a close but i really hope yours is going well or your week student or non-student as the case may be hope it's going well um like i said in the beginning or i don't know when i said it carnival is coming up it actually starts tomorrow can you believe carnival is two weeks two one two two weeks and some days it's like 16 18 days it starts tomorrow but obviously i'm not partaking because i got books to read <laughs> so i won't be partaking until the last weekend but like people have been closing down stuff all week it's closing early getting ready for carnival so it's about to be lit on this island and i'm gonna be indoors studying but it's cool my time will soon come in two weeks when i'm doing this in the saint martin streets <laughs> but yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want me to do another mukbang or mukbang however you say it let me know next time if i do do it again i want to go to this one uh, caribbean spot called lolo's or something I don't know what that is. I want to go to this one Caribbean spot called Lolo's that like everybody talks about. I went there one time, but they didn't have anything. You know, <laughs> they ran out of everything. So I want to go there again. Um, so let me know if you want to see another another one. But for today's word for the video, so let me know which one of y'all are the real ones that made it all the way through. I want you guys to comment below. In addition to all your other comments, comment below thankful. I'm thankful for this semester, thankful for my family, my friends, I'm thankful for you guys. So thankful because this right here, this was what I needed right now because this day is about to be hectic. This weekend is about to be hectic, so this was nice. So yes, I hope all of you guys are thankful for everything good, bad, and the ugly that's going on too. So you guys have a great day. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the things, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Get it.